every single one of us, to some degree, is an empty vessel. We're all programmed. Yeah. So you, there's no such thing as escaping the slave mind. You must just, to some degree, understand who is programming you and understand if you really want those characteristics. Most people are repeating uh, opinions. And I'm saying, where did you get that opinion from? They can't remember where they got it from. They don't know who even told them. They don't know why they so fervently believe in it. They're just yeah. told they're programmed. You need to genuinely analyze your brain, defrag every single opinion you strongly have and identify where it came from and if that person has your best interest at heart. And what they're trying to do, especially with young men, is program them because we're all empty vessels. And what you have to do as an adult, as a parent, is to program your child stronger than all of society. Mm -hmm. It's not an easy job because all of society, from the YouTube videos to the TV shows to the school, every single thing is trying to program them in one direction. You have to combat that. The, the world we live in today, they try very hard to prevent you from creating your reality. You're constantly distracted by everything. And it's hard to focus on nearly anything. And, and they do that on purpose. For you to go stand out in the rain and protest, that takes focus. They want you distracted. They want arguments in a the household. They want blacks to hate the whites, Republicans to hate the Democrats. They want us to argue with each other, for all of us to hate our neighbor, and all, all to be so distracted and selfish and self-absorbed that we can't think beyond ourselves. That's what they're trying to do to us. And it's absolutely an utterly work. That's a psyop from the New World Order. They're deliberately trying to turn women against men. They have to divide the peasants. That's the only way that the elites can retain control. They turn the blacks against the whites, the Democrats oh. against the Republicans, the women against the men. It's all a psyop, and they do it purposefully. Listen, a revolution is nothing more than men standing in one place and saying this shit has to change. The reason there's no revolution, despite the absolute tyranny we experience here in the Western world, is because most men aren't allowed out, out the house because their wife will get mad at them. You have to be home at 10 o'clock. Come home. You're not allowed out. Yes, but my point is, you're not going to feel like a king or feel brave enough to go and rebel against the New World Order if you don't even feel in charge of your own house. If you're not a king in your own house, then how are you a king anywhere else, right? And and the law is set up in a way in the Western world. The law is set up in a way in the Western world where men have absolutely zero power. Most men are, are clinically depressed, working jobs they hate, for, in sexless marriages, and they know they can't leave because they lose the house and they lose the kids and they lose everything else. So they don't have time to be concerned with anything that's actually happening in the world. They keep us divided and distracted. And empowering females is the easiest way to weaken the will of men. Mm. What happened when you con when the Romans conquered the Greeks? The first thing they did was kill all the fighting age males. And we live in a world now where they are deliberately killing the fighting age males. They're killing the spirit, the warrior spirit inside of men. And they're doing that by motivating men, sorry, motivating females and empowering to the point where they're gonna sit there and go, you know what, I'm a feminist. You can't tell me what to do. I'm allowed to go out with my friends. He's just my friend. I'm allowed to sleep at his house, drink vodka. And the second thing, it's, it's part of the psyop. They're, they're masculine. In the Western world, they're trying to turn females masculine. It's not an accident. None of this is an accident. All of this is done very, very perfectly. And if you, if you destroy the will of man, the reason I feel compelled to say the things I say and do the things I do is because I live in a country where there's no femme-centric government that's going to come destroy me. And also in my relationship with females, there's no woman telling me, Andrew, just put the mask on. Andrew, just be quiet. Andrew, it's late. Don't need the job. Andrew, the kid. Blah, blah, blah. They're just, they're just sucking men down so, the pit. So. The, the modern world suffers from, the, from a, a bout of power. It's not that he doesn't know. It's that if he pretends it isn't there, it's ostrich shit. Yeah. I'm just going to hide. I don't know what to do, so I want to hide from it. It can't possibly be true. No, they can't possibly have lied about that. Oh, no, boy. no. It's all cowardice, right? Yeah. Because you're a coward. Because when you accept the realities, now you are you need to do something. You're implored to act. Yeah. They don't mm -hmm. want that. So we're suffering from a massive we're suffering from a massive pandemic of cowardice. That's the only pandemic in the world today. If you're a man, <laughs> if you're a man with any level of testosterone level, and you've been witnessing what's been happening in the world in the last two years. I struggle to sleep at night. Like literally what's happening is fucking crazy. And I'm struggling to sleep. And I'm a, I'm an individual with $50 million who can hide and disappear. If I was Joe Schmo, I'd be, I'd be scared. You're yeah. out here. They're lying to you about the inflation rate. You're, you're not getting a pay rise. Like what? Where's your panic? Yeah. People are not panicking. They lack perspicacity. I use this analogy a lot, maybe I overuse it, but you need to find a way to some degree to escape the matrix. I've literally escaped the matrix in nearly every form. So any form of oppression no longer applies. I'm counseled, I can't be canceled, no, I can say what I want, my finances are secure, I've escaped the matrix. And when I talk about the matrix, it primarily applies to men because men are the backbone of the slave force. We always have been and always will be. And unfortunately now, if you're a law-abiding man inside the matrix, your future and the life that is laid out for you is nothing but depressing. 
you're gonna go to school, you're gonna get in debt, you're gonna get a job, you're gonna get a wife, divorce is coming, you're gonna lose the house eventually, your job's shit, inflation's outpacing your wages, you're gonna work, 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 no one's gonna appreciate it, now you're old and you like it. That is the matrix for 99% of men. And you need to find a way to escape it. And I guess I was kind of fortunate from a young age that I always knew that the matrix was coming and that the system is designed to oppress. The people who make the rules do not make the rules for the benefit of us, they make the rules for the benefit of the people who make the rules. And I knew that. And I think every person intrinsically knows that. Like if it's four in the morning and you're sitting in a gas station and a Lambo pulls up, you're probably thinking drug dealer or criminal. You're not thinking, oh, he definitely went to school. Yeah, I, I, I was lucky enough to have the most fantastic father on the planet. Yeah, so yeah. my so my dad did make a lot of things very clear to me from a young age. My father was a chess friend and he was uh, he was a nomadic individual. So he lived in a car or the world. And it was an interesting life, and he taught me a lot about the fact that the system is absolutely broken, trying to oppress, and that the majority of people who stick to the rules are going to lose. I, I don't want to sit here on a podcast that goes out to this many people and encourage anyone to break the law in any form. Of course. But the idea of the law-abiding citizen has been decimated in real time. In the last two, two or three years ago, you could stand there and proudly say, I'm a law-abiding citizen. In the last two years, if they have not taught you that being a law-abiding citizen is going to ta- turn you nothing, then you're an idiot. You can no longer obey the law. You, and I'm not saying you have to break the law, but you need yeah. to find a way to do what the elites do, which is bend the law. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You can no longer sit there and go, I'm just going to follow the rules and it's going to be okay. No, it isn't. Okay. And if you're a man, yeah. and if you're a man, it's your job to find a way to not be sticking to those rules enough to escape the matrix and become free. Because what's actually most crazy about this period of history is that it's actually the easiest time in human history to become rich. And the reason for that is because there's so many people inside the matrix being destroyed. Money has to go somewhere. I've made so much money during COVID, it's absolutely incredible. But I believe, I genuinely believe we're living in a pivotal period of human history. Yeah. I believe that things are going to about to get a lot worse before they get yes. better. And I believe that anyone who thinks like me and is aligned with me and understands about the global enslavement, if they're going to be on my team, I want them to be there. Money gives you power. So I am teaching anybody who will listen to my videos and understand what I'm saying and doesn't hate me how to make as much money as possible because when the time comes and the battle call is made i need rich people around i'm a chess player right my father was a chess player i truly have no intention of changing the world i have no political affiliation i'm not republican i'm not democrat i'm not right i'm not left i don't believe in changing the rules of the game i believe in winning Mm. and chess when you look at the board you don't sit there and go i'm losing i wish a pawn could move that way that's stupid because that's not the game but what's the best possible move yeah and what you'll actually notice is a grandmaster you play a grandmaster at chess he is sticking to the same rules as you he's within the same constraints but he will destroy you because he has a better understanding of the rules i'm not out to change any rules my society is not out to change any rules the society can stay exactly as it is can be as corrupt as it is i'm not i have no political affiliation i don't care who's president don't care all i care about is analyzing the chessboard and making the most intelligent move for myself thanks for watching Check the description down below to enter a free giveaway and claim some free gifts. If you want to make money with YouTube, then also check the description. Make sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next.